to my channel Code with Neha. So, in my previous video, I have discussed about introduction to HTML, what is the purpose of HTML, how to create a web page, what is HTML tags, and what is the syntax of HTML tag. Today, we will discuss about HTML tags in details. So, without any further delay, let's get started. HTML tags are the building blocks of HTML which helps to create a web page. It acts as a container which contains different type of content such as link, images, videos and so on. Each HTML tag has a specific purpose and by using this HTML tags correctly we can create a very appealing and useful web page. HTML tags is always enclosed in an anchor bracket and an HTML tag that is a basic HTML tag consists of a starting and ending tag that is on and off tag. So what are the types of HTML tags? There are two types of HTML tags. Number one container tag, number two empty tag. Container tag are those elements which consist of other elements which groups and contain other elements. Container tag generally consists of three different parts. Number one, opening tag. Number two, content which is displayed on the web browser. Number three, closing tag. The content also consists of some other HTML tags. The opening and closing tag always appears on pair and it's also called start and end tag and on and off tag. We have to be a little bit careful while using container tag as if we miss out closing tag then the browser will take the effect of the opening tag until the end of the page. So we, we should always use the tags in pair. Syntax of container tag starting with the opening tag that is starting third bracket tag name closing third bracket followed by content then followed by closing tag that is starting third bracket backslash tag name ending third bracket. This is the syntax of container tag. Some of the commonly used container tags are essential tags starting with the opening and closing HTML tag. This specifies that this document is an HTML file. Between the opening and closing HTML tags, we have all the other tags which include in the web page. Opening and closing head tag which contains the head part of the document which consists of the information related to the web page. Opening and closing title tag which stores the description of the web page. When we open a file through a browser then this title will appear on the tab of the browser. Opening and closing body tag which displays all the other information related to the web page that is the text, image, videos, etc. Second essential container tag is the heading. Heading starts from H1 to H6 which is used to give specific heading of different size to the web page. Third essential container tag is the text formatter. Text formatter is used to format text that is if we need to include a paragraph, we will use opening and closing P tag, that is paragraph tag. If we need to bold a text, a part of the text, then we will use bold tag, that is B tag. If we want to make the font italic, we will use I italic tag, that is opening and closing I tag. Essential container tag is the hyperlink. Hyperlink tag is used to link another web page to the present web page. Discuss more such container tag later on on this channel. Second type of HTML tag is the empty tag. This type of tag does not contain any closing tag. It only performs a specific task to the given web page. Example of such empty tags are BR tag. It inserts a line break to the web page. HR tag. HR tag is used to insert a horizontal line to the web page. Input tag. 
input tag is used with the form to take input from the user, we can also define the type of the input. We will discuss more such empty tags later on on this channel. In my next video, I will show how to create a basic web page. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe my channel Code with Neha and comment down in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.